All right, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a quick tutorial of how to use the DIBS system to be able to find different opportunities that the DLA is looking to supply items for. Now, in this, uh, our company, Men's Sourcing, uses this website for a majority of our government contracting work, and you and your company can do the same. Um, this is, again, just a quick tutori tutorial of exactly how to find specific opportunities that are out there, how to categorize them in a certain way to filter it so it's more advantageous to you, so then you can procure the right items. So uh, we'll go over this much more in depth at a later time, but the first thing you want to make sure that you do have if you are going to use this to bid on contracts is click on where it says my account and you want to click here to register, right? That's the first thing you want to do. So this video is assuming that you already have an account with dibs right so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to click on where it says rfq so this is request for quotations now what we can do inside of here on the left hand side this is the area that we're going to want to focus on but first thing that we're wanting to do is then select the category that we want to start looking for uh, in terms of opportunities that are out there right so you can do different categories there's the nsn part number federal supply class, solicitations, purchase request, nomenclature, approved cage, and approved part number. Now, there are multiple categories that you can choose from, uh, but just for this video, we're gonna select federal supply class. Uh, we'll go over exactly what a federal supply class is, an NSN, part number, and all that in a different video. But again, we're just focusing on this right here. Once we've selected the category that we're choosing, now we're wanting to input the values of the federal supply class that match with what we're able to supply to the federal government. Uh, our company, Men Sourcing, we specialize in aerospace uh, and the fasteners associated with that, so nuts, bolts, screws, washers, and so forth. So I'm going to give you two that we use a lot on, which is 5310 and 5325. Those are two of, of many of the federal supply classes that we, we use. So you want to put the values in here. Then what you want to do is scroll down to where it says show only. Now, if I want to look inside of this based on what are all of the opportunities uh, that the DLA has through dibs, I can just now press search and it'll give me a list of all of the opportunities that are out there. But our biggest thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we increase the probability that we can win these awards. So the more of what we call set-asides, the more likely you are to win that award because you're actually competing against fewer uh, competitors that are out there. So let me give you an example. I can uh, ask the system to just show the opportunities that fall into any of these categories, right? So let's just say that I want to find all the opportunities for 5310, 5325 that are uh, a service-disabled veteran-owned small business set aside. And then it's just going to show a few of those or however many there are that are open for this. Maybe I'm a women-owned small business set aside. I can search just for that, right? Uh, economically disadvantaged women-owned small business set aside, right? There are different areas that you can um, show that reduces the competition that you have. Like our company, Men's Sourcing, we can compete against all of these and, and look for any opportunity, but we want to be the biggest fish in the smallest pond, right? Um, so in this case, what we're going to do is because we are an SDVOSB, I'm going to click on SDVOSB. So it's only going to show SDVOSBs, but also I want the system to show combined set-asides. Combined set-asides is saying, hey, all of the set-asides that are out there, any if you fall into any categories of the set-asides, you can compete for this business. So for the opportunities for 5310 and 5325, the system's only gonna show me ones that um, only allow service-disabled veteran-owned small businesses to bid on or inside of the combined categories. From there, I'm gonna click on search. And now it's gonna give me a list of all of those. Now, as you can see up here, it's gonna say record found 60. That means that there are 60 opportunities that are out there that I and my company can compete on in order to win the government contract, right? Uh, when it comes to the actual solicitation, you can see the previous video that was, that was just completed that goes over exactly what pertinent information I need 
in order uh, to request a quote from my manufacturer or distributor or whoever I'm getting the part from. But this is going to give me a list. I can uh, I can categorize it in any in multiple ways. But in the way that I do it is I look at the issued and I want to make sure that the most recent ones are on top. So we're recording this in March of 2024. So as of today, there have been two new opportunities that are out there. Yesterday there was one, the day before that there was one, and so forth, right? Now going through all of this, um, these are all of the opportunities that are there. Now going column by column, uh, we have the NSN. So this is gonna give me the NSN, which is the government's part number that they use to identify a part. The nomenclature, so this is the item description. So this 5310 item is a nut plain hexagon. If there are technical documents uh, and if we do have access to them, clearance, well, I can click on this and it'll give me the, the print of that item. And then uh, the solicitation that's there, okay? You also see this logo right here. This means that this is an SDVOSB only, meaning only a service disabled veteran owned small business can uh, bid on this, okay? So going through this, uh, then it's showing you exactly how much how much they're needing, when the issue a date is, and also when you need to return it by. This return it by date doesn't necessarily, <laughs> isn't something that they adhere to often. Um, as you can see right here, if I click this right here, um, this one's still in the system from 2021, I mean. Um, so in any case, uh, what we're doing is we're looking at these ones right here. So if I click on uh, this link right here, which is the NSN number, it'll bring me to a new page, and it gives me information about this specific contract. Now, in this area right here, this little rectangle right here, this is what we call the PID, right, PID. And this is giving you just a quick synopsis of exactly what the government is looking for in terms of this item. So as we see right here, the NSN is this 5310 number. It's a nut, plain hexagon. And also it's gonna give me the part number. See where it says P slash N, part number. And it's gonna tell me what that exact part number is. Right. Now if I click on the solicitation, it'll download that solicitation and then I can pull up the exact information or the request for quote from the DLA for this, this specific item that they're looking to supply. Um, it's on this one, it's 26 pages right here a lot of information that's there, a lot of information that you actually will never need until you win the contract. A lot of it is flow downs, but there is pertinent information that you need on this. So what I would advise you to do is go into our previous video and look for the one that's going to go over the information that you need to extract from a request for quotation. All right, so that's how you find information uh, through the DLA. Again, just a quick overview, click on RFQs, Put the information or the value you want here. You could put NSN number. You could put a specific solicitation number. What we did was the federal supply class. And then you can show only specific contracts associated with any of these set-asides that are there. If you want to compete on any of them, be in the biggest pond, more power to you. But if you do uh, find yourself matching any of these set-asides uh, through the Small Business Administration, like SDVOSB, or maybe you're a women-owned small business, you could just click on any of these and then press search. Oh, excuse me. Um, put this here, 5306, women-owned small business, search, and it's gonna give you all of the opportunities. Like this, women-owned small business, there's four that are out there. Good money can be made through here. I don't think enough people know about the dibs board, but if you can supply and procure an item, this is exactly different contracts and different opportunities you can find. Hope this helps.